G'day viewers, um, I've um, tried to start my generator and when I pull the, what's, the cable to start it, the generator doesn't turn over, it's missing, not gripping and turning over to start, start the engine. So we're going to pull it apart and see what the problem is. First we'll start off by taking these screws out. So we can get access to the panel. Feed that back through there. We get this panel right off. We can already see. The plates should come adrift in there. See that? We'll get a closer look in a minute. Alright, so that panel's off. And as you see, this this panel here, I'll get a closer look. I don't know if you can see that or not. But this panel here has come adrift. And that could be all our problem is. That could be our problem. This panel's all come adrift. As you see, uh, I've made a plug to stop the fuel coming out of the tank and I've got to make a plug for this one a wooden plug which I've done just just a wooden plug to go into the hose stop fuel coming out of there so I can remove this panel more to find the bolts and re relocate them as you see we had to move this one clear and that one clear to get at the the uh, panel, the loose panel. It's only held up by one bolt, it's supposed to be three bolts, and there's the other bolts all, were all laying in the bottom. So I've got two there. Okay, I replaced the bolts. There was two missing, one very loose, so it's all about to fall off. There's the other bolt down there. So I found that a lot of bolts are loose. So I'm going to go through and tighten them all now and I'll put it back together and uh, we'll try her out. Thank you. Well, I've got it all back together. Now it's a matter of just trying it out and see if she works. I'm pretty confident that it will. They're a good generator. I can't understand why everything was loose in there like that. Okay. You can see it's turning over now. 